The Persian Kanat system was first created in Persia around 1000 BC. It was used throughout the pre-modern period and has lasted until present day, with over 22,000 Iranian Kanats still in use, providing over 19,500 cubic feet of water per second to Iran. Kanats enabled the Persian Empire to inhabit an arid, desert-like climate, and so produced sufficient water for agriculture, as well as daily use. The Kanats were primarily used as a source of fresh water for drinking, drinking and irrigation. Underground tunnels fed irrigation channels throughout the Persian Empire, enabling a constant flow of water to Persian fields. The water produced by these Kanats allowed for the cultivation of crops such as wheat in climates that normally would not support mass agriculture. Kanats were also used to provide air conditioning. Cool subterranean air from the underground tunnels was siphoned off to underground basements. This air conditioning system was invented by 400 BC and used to store ice from the mountains as well as providing cool air to houses built above Kanats. Kanat technology spread around the world to China and Afghanistan via the Silk Road as well as Europe through conquest. Rome adopted Kanats using their acquired knowledge to make aqueducts. Arab conquest of Africa also brought the new technology to Morocco, Arabia, and northern African states. This technology was even brought to the New World by the Spanish. Kanats infiltration galleries were used in South America around Chile as well as in Central America by Spanish colonies. In order to make kanats, a well was drilled down to a water table underneath the topsoil but above bedrock. After locating a water source, an underground channel was built at a slightly less than horizontal angle in order for water to flow at a steady rate without risking erosion. Vertical shafts were used in order to build and maintain the underground channels. This water was then distributed through irrigation channels to cities and farmlands. This is our model of the Persian kanat system. Right here is the mother well, which is the first vertical access shaft that taps into the underground river. Right here, and here, and here are three vertical access shafts. And right here is the Kanat channel that goes all the way down until eventually the Kanat outlet. This is our model in action. As you can see, water goes through the underground water bed and the underground river into the Kanat channel where it comes out of the um, Kanat outlet and flows down into irrigation channels that then lead into the farmlands and throughout Iran.